Go. Hi, my name is Sam Kippen. My student number is T00698764. In this part of the video, I'm going to be explaining um, different parts of, of Hunter's ear um, and showing how to do different tests on Hunter's ear as well, and cleaning the ear. Uh, my clinical mentor is here with me today. His name is Dr. White, um, and he's gonna be helping me with this. Uh, so we're gonna start with a hearing evaluation. So for hearing evaluation, very easy, especially with dogs that are golden retrievers and labs and food motivated dogs. He's following the traits, he's hearing the traits. He can hear. Okay, external ear exam. So the external ear exam, I'm going to be looking at the papilla. Um, I'm going to take a look here and just make sure that there's no uh, lesions, there, there's no warts, uh, I'm not seeing any ticks or any fleas or anything on this ear, no obvious mites are being seen here either. Um, the ear looks pink, it looks healthy, um, the pen looks stink and healthy, doesn't seem to be having any difficulties at all. Um, so that's the external ear exam. Um, and then when we're doing the otoscope exam, for the otoscope exam, I'm gonna lift his ear back like this, and I'm going to take my otoscope and turn it on so that I can see with the light. And I'm going to put it down his ear like so. So I'm going down the external auditory canal right now and the vertical now and I'm going to point that all the way until we actually get to the horizontal part of the canal and then we can see across to the tympanic membrane which is also the eardrum and it's going to look very shiny there and I see it right now so I'm not seeing any debris in there uh, it doesn't look red doesn't look to be inflamed it seems to be quite healthy uh, so for him right now, what I could see with the tympanic membrane is it just seemed to be uh, very shiny, uh, gray, um, no, no inflammation, no tears in the eardrum at all, definitely very healthy. Uh, if I were to do an ear swab, do you want me to do an ear swab on this patient? Might as well show it. So I'm going to take a swab, I'm going to take his ear, and I'm going to put this swab, as you can see, gently. gently down the external auditory canal and the vertical um, canal. And then once I'm down the bottom of it here, I'm just gonna rub it just ever so gently on the side of the external auditory canal, the vertical portion. So very clean, not much there at all because as I could tell in my exam, these ears are very healthy and I didn't see any inflammation or debris. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my slide and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to roll it. So I'll roll it all the way along here. And then I would just label it left. So I just wrote an L on there and that would be labeling it left. So we know that that is his left ear indeed. Um, he doesn't need any ear pluck from his ear, but if, if he did, I could just take his ear here and just simply pull the hair out like that and that would be plucking it for him. Uh, simple clean. So we're only going to be cleaning the outer pinna. So I'm going to take some of the gauze here and I'll take some of our to the ETA and I'm just going to do it over the sink so I don't make a huge mess. So I'm only cleaning the outer pinna, so I'm just going to rub like this. I'm not going down the external auditory canal at all, just on the outside here. And there we go. That's the cleaning. Um, and the Medicaid. Does this dog require any medication? It doesn't require anything, but if you want to demonstrate, just use a few drops of the ear cleaner instead of one. Okay. 
So I'm going to take the Trizid ETA again, and I'm going to just run this down his ear canal. So I'm going to take his ear, this pin that right here, and I'm going to pull it back. So that, and then I'm going to have Dr. White tip his head down a little bit like so. So that way we can easily get the medication to run all the way down. Okay. So you want to make sure that the ear fulls up and then give it a really good massage. That way we can make sure that it runs all the way down to the horizontal auditory canal. There we go. So that should have covered the entire auditory canal. Um, and that's all the instructions that we've been asking for the year.